From the CBS Bay Area studios, this is KPIX 5 News. Now at 5, a series of fires officials say were set on purpose in Santa Rosa last night. This evening, anger and disbelief sparking from people who saw the destruction of October's wildfires. Good evening, I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Betty Yu. The suspicious fires all broke out in grassy areas on the southwest side of Santa Rosa last night and early this morning. Firefighters scrambled to put each one of them out. KPIX 5's Emily Turner is live at Hearn Avenue where the first fire was set. Emily? Investigators say there is no question that these fires were arson. They set not one, but 10 fires straight down this walking path and down another walking path towards the west. What's not clear right now is who this arsonist is and why he or she did it. Anybody who sets fires, it is, it's deplorable. Deplorable it may be and dangerous. The Santa Rosa Fire Department says the first 911 call came in just before midnight last night for a fire along the railroad tracks at Hearn Avenue. By 1.30 a.m., a total of 10 fires had been set. So given the volume of fires, uh, one after another, um, all along uh, what we refer to as like a walking path, essentially, um, over the course of an hour and a half, we're confident that this was arson. Because of the time frame in which these fires were started and the distance they covered, fire investigators feel like the arsonist was on foot. The first fire was at Hearn and the railroad path. Santa Rosa Fire says the arson's route, highlighted here in yellow, continued north before cutting west along the Santa Rosa Creek Trail. Neither police nor fire have any idea who it may be and are looking for the community's help. A community already once burned and now twice as sensitive to flames. You know, to purposely set a fire is to destroy. And given what happened last October, it's doubly bad because everyone knows what damage that can do. Luckily, last night's blaze didn't damage person or property. The biggest was only a quarter acre. But the potential for greater damage is there, and neither police, fire, nor neighbors are willing to risk it happening again. Fortunately, these were all small fires, um, but we don't want whoever this is to continue, and any of these small fires turn into something much bigger. Setting a fire here, it can race right up or down the tracks and set a, a, the whole town of fire again. So I, I say that anyone who uh, intentionally sets a fire should be uh, prosecuted to the full extent of the law. And so in order to make sure that that happens, Santa Rosa Fire says if anyone saw anything suspicious between about the hours of 11 o'clock last night or say 2 o'clock this morning along these walking paths to call either them or to call police because, of course, with a breeze blowing and well into fire season, they do not want to take any risks. Reporting live in Santa Rosa, Emily Turner, KPIX 5. All right, thanks, Emily.